would be taking the Ambrose Center and setting another Ambrose Center on top of it. Some residents in this Vernon Heights neighborhood in Cedar Rapids are worried this vacant city building could become a multi-storied apartment building. The Ambrose Recreation Center has been empty since 2016, even though there have been several efforts to renovate it. Now a new development plan could bring an apartment complex to the 2000 block of Mount Vernon Road southeast in Cedar Rapids. KCRG TV 9's Brian Tavik spoke with this developer as well as neighbors about the plans brought before the city council tonight. Brian? Beth, Jim, the documents given to the city of Cedar Rapids showed a four-story apartment complex with 52 units to replace the city-owned Ambrose Recreation Center, which has sat empty for the past eight years. It's those drawings that has some neighbors I spoke with saying it's just too big for their neighborhood. Planted all of this lavender. I have hibiscus butterfly bushes. Jennifer Trembat spends her time gardening at her home in the Vernon Heights neighborhood. She chose to live here because of the sense of community. Everybody walks down the street. We all say hi to each other. We talk. You know, our kids all walk to school on the street. But across the street from her home sits the Ambrose Center. She says the abandoned city-owned building isn't her main concern. It's the new plans to build this, a four-story apartment complex proposed by Aspect Architecture Design. Four is just too large for this neighborhood. I think it'll just tower over all of our houses and block out our sunlight and just our view of everything. But the council says it isn't considering this specific style of building, a concept drawing of a 51 unit four story structure. Instead, council members decided to approve Aspect Architecture Design as the site developer and the incentives that could help develop this property. It allows the developer to, to at least move forward with the project. Now that being said, um, there are a lot of, of details that, that still need to be, you know, filled in. The developer, Steve Emerson, says there will be community meetings for people like Trimbath to make sure what's built here fits in with the residential neighborhood. There's a lot of input and there's a lot of design. The project will look much different when it's done. That answered at least some of Trimbath's concerns that could have overshadowed her gardens. I just want the city to know that the people who this building will impact are, we're here and we want you to hear our voices. This is the fourth project that has been proposed for this site since it became vacant in 2016. Construction on the site could begin as early as, as September. In the studio, Brian Tabak, KCRG TV9 News. And Steve Emerson also owns Dubuque's historic brewing and malting building. Now, partial demolition on that building is now underway after parts of the exterior were declared a hazard. Work's been delayed for months, but now people should start to see significant progress by the end of the week.